Hi everybody, I'm Miss Phillips and this video is going to be a quick tour of our classroom and also a chance to get to know about some of the things that we get up to in Indigo class. So, as you know, this is the parent waiting area for Indigo class in the mornings and the afternoons. We encourage the children to come in independently and they will be coming into school through this door here. Now when they come in, their cloakroom is to the left hand side so all of the children have got a peg where they can put things like their coats, their PE bags, their bags and then they will make their way into the classroom through here. They've also got their toilets that are just outside of Indigo classroom as well that they can use. So here we have Indigo classroom and what I'm going to do is just show you a few of the different areas around the classroom so you know the kinds of things that the children get up to during a normal day in Indigo class. So the children will come in through our back door and they will come straight to our sink area where they will wash and sanitise their hands and they can also use our snack station to put away their water bottles and their snack pots. We have also always got some fresh fruit and vegetables available to them so should they get hungry throughout the day they can come to the snack station and get some fruit or vegetables and have a quick drink as well. All of the children have also got their own purple drawers with their names on so this is where they keep things like their book bags, their reading diaries, anything that they need to take home as well as their whiteboard and pens. So one of the main areas that we have got in Indigo class is our writing zone. So this is where the children will come during the day to do any writing learning and they can use the resources from the writing zone and take it anywhere into the classroom that they need. So we've got things like wooden letters, we've got all of the resources that they will need in order to do some writing. And right next to our writing zone, we've got our writing working wall which the children can access throughout the day and at the moment this has got all of the information about the story of Little Red Riding Hood that we are writing together. At times during the morning the children can choose what learning they would like to do. So over here we've got the Maths Centre so they might come over and access all of our Maths resources and they can look around the Maths Centre at some of the things that they might need to do and all of the resources can be taken again around the classroom where they choose and they can use them to help them with their learning. If the children would like to do a bit of reading then they can come over to the Reading Snug, our bunk bed, they can choose one of the books from the bookshelf and either go underneath the bunk bed or on top of the bunk bed to do a bit of reading. So this is the carpet area, so this is where the children will come to sit when we're doing our learning all together and it's in front of our interactive whiteboard. Now when they come in in the mornings there will be some work for them to do so they can get straight on with their learning when they come in. At the moment in Indigo class we also have a fun science lab, so this is where the children can come if they want to do any science learning, they can put on their lab coat and their science goggles and at the moment their focus is all about materials so they have been looking around the classroom for different materials they can bring it back to the science lab and show us their learning we've also got areas in our classroom that the children come to when they are accessing their learning with an adult so they will come to the table in their group and we will do our learning all together just above our interactive whiteboard we've got our posters for the pets of yet the children really love using these pets as a growth mindset method they know to use them if they're finding their learning tricky or they want to have a go at something. So our pets of yet are Have A Go Hamster, Positive Parrot, Can Do Cat, Trying Turtle and The Bounce Back Bunny. This is our reflection area which has got our Bible on it. It's also got our space for the children if they would like to come and write a prayer or have a look through one of the Bible stories. And they can also have a think about our Christian values. Thank you so much for watching. I hope now that you feel you know a little bit more about what goes on in Indigo class. There is some more information coming up, so keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome to year two. The following slides will give you some extra information about life for your child in year two at Philport Infant Academy. You can see Lots of faces there. We've got Miss Rogers in the gents class with Miss Marley who's on maternity leave and Mrs Kiston the teaching assistant. Miss Parker the one-to-one -one classroom support. In Indigo class Miss Phillips is class teacher with the teaching assistant 
Mrs Carter and Mrs Stockhart one to one support. And in Violet class, Mr Smith is the class teacher with Mrs Hewer, teaching assistant, and Miss Morgan, who works across year two. And you'll also see some familiar faces on the left hand side. Feel free to contact us by phone or by email if you have any questions. Now you can see our vision, our vision statement. Love life, embrace learning, believe together. And you can see our six Christian values. Forgiveness, courage, trust, friendship, truthfulness and respect. You can see the way that we approach our creative curriculum and the importance of our place in God's world, our relationship and ourselves. Children in year two should really be completely independent, coming into class each morning and being responsible for their own belongings. We ask the children to organise their own snacks, their own lunch boxes, to look after their coats and jumpers, book bags. And we also encourage them as much as possible to look after their own resources for learning. We encourage the children to dress themselves for PE and obviously that's a great life skill going forward. Children are allowed to bring in a snack from home and they can also bring in one in the afternoon. We also have a lot of fruit and vegetables available on a daily basis and you can see the snack list is as follows. Fruit, vegetables, breadsticks, crackers with a little bit of butter, small amount of ham or cheese but obviously not a picnic and then some fruit snacks like yo-yos and obviously a drink. So all of the children have received their reading diaries. These need to come into school with them every day. We will then change their reading books on a Monday and a Thursday. They will also receive something called a love for reading book, which is an extra book that the children can have for a week. Um, and those books need to come back to school on Mondays to be changed as well. We also use the reading diaries uh, to send home any letters or to send any messages to and from school um, that we need you to know. So please keep checking the reading diaries for any extra information. We are currently working towards a recover and restore curriculum. So we are obviously aware that there may be some areas that the children have missed during their time uh, away from school. So we are looking at the year one curriculum very closely and plugging any gaps that we can there, as well as teaching them uh, all of the relevant things that they'll need to learn ready for the end of year two. We have a creative approach to our curriculum. So every uh, term will have a topic or a theme. This term in year two, we are doing Over the Rainbow and our theme is based all around the story of Little Red Riding Hood. The children are able to access continuous provision, which means there is things out for them to help with their learning all of the time and they have a lot of independence and choice on how they use those things to help their learning. We use Target Tracker to uh, make observations of the children so please make sure that you're checking Target Tracker regularly to see some updates of what your children have been up to. Each term begins with an exciting buzz day and we end with a celebration and each topic we aim to include uh, some form of trip or a visitor into school or some form of exciting experience within the school to get the children excited and ready for their learning. So for reading at home, we, uh, we suggest that the children read at least three times a week. Obviously any more is going to be uh, beneficial to your child, so that's great. We really appreciate all the help there. We've also got access to Bug Club. Now the Bug Club logins will be uh, stuck into the front of your child's reading diary so there'll be their username and password in there go onto the website and that's just a really exciting platform that they can use um, to do some reading there may also be some activities linked to to grammar or to punctuation or to spelling as well when reading at home please make sure you are asking your child lots of questions about their book because that really helps them to develop their comprehension skills and hopefully you will see your child moving up through the reading levels as they go across year two. 
for phonics, we sometimes choose specific reading books that are linked to a specific sound which your child may not know or may be struggling with. So sometimes you may get a book in their reading diary which has been used to practice a certain sound. We use schemes such as letters and sounds and Read Write Ink to teach our phonics and phonics is taught every day to the children so they will have a time every day to practice their phonics. So for work that the children are doing at home they've obviously got their reading books and bug club we are also introducing what's called a rainbow spelling challenge which is going to be all about practicing those common exception words those high frequency words the words that are slightly trickier that the children use in their writing all the time and the children will work through the colours of the rainbow they will receive a sticker when they can spell all of the words in a certain colour list and they will move on to the next colour um, and they will work on that all the way through year two and, and see how far they can get on their rainbow challenge. They will also in term two be receiving a homework folder which will be going home every Thursday and we ask that that can be completed for that week and brought back on a Wednesday if possible and in that homework folder there will be a mixture of activities to support writing, maths and some of the foundation subjects as well. And also in term two, we will begin what we call the 99 Club, which more information will be coming out on that. But that is to that is used to help the children practice their times tables um, and is an exciting way for them to work through until they reach the end of the 99 Club. Due to the time missed towards the end of last year, the year two children will sit the phonics screening check during term two. Any children who don't meet the pass mark will have the opportunity to retake the check in summer 2021. There will be additional information meetings about these assessments closer to the time, um, but you can see below there is a link if you, there, where there's more information if you want to find out anything sooner. In summer 2021, the year two children will sit their end of key stage one assessments. There will, these will involve two reading papers and two maths papers, and they are used to support the teacher's judgment in reading and maths, so they're not the be all and end all. There will also be additional information meetings about these assessments closer to the time, so you'll be finding out about those. Here are some useful websites you can access at home. We have Bug, Bug Club, which uh, has a variety of reading materials you can use and read with your child. We've got the Target Tracker login, so you can see what sort of things that your children are getting up to at school. We've got Phonics Play, which has a variety of fun, fun games for the children to use relating to different sounds. We've got the Oxford Owl, which you can use to help reading at home and also Top Marks, which has lots and lots of different maths games which relate to the different topics. Here we have our school website and Facebook, which has all the information you need to know about Field Court CFE Infant Academy. Here you'll find lots of updates about the school to do with things like the Golden Book, who's been in that, and also all of our newsletters. So really, really useful pages here. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to email your child's class teacher and they'll get back to you as soon as they can. Thanks.